Hello everyone. So in the previous lesson we looked at adding and subtracting fractions. So we had things like 3 over 4 plus 2 over 3 and then we said that you need to get the same denominator. Now in this lesson we are going to be doing multiplication and division. So with these you don't need the same denominator. Please remember that you don't need the same denominator. What you can do, there's multiple ways of doing this you can cross cancel so that's the method I would highly advise because it just makes the numbers a lot smaller so let these arrows remind you that the 3 and the 6 can be simplified and then the 4 and the 7 can be simplified so let's start with 3 and 6 what number can fit into 3 and 6 the number 3 3 goes into itself once and 3 goes into 6 twice there is no number that can go into 7 and 4 and so we can't do anything with that and so at the moment we have 1 over 4 multiplied by 7 over 2 sorry now that we have simplified as much as we can we now multiply the top and the, the bottom so the top times the top is 7 and the bottom times the bottom is 8 let's say you didn't cross cancel then you would have 3 over 4 times 7 over 6 and if you went and multiplied the top times the top you would get 21 and the bottom times the bottom you would get 24 but then you should always try simplify your answer now what number can fit into 21 and 24 the number 3 it can fit into 21 7 times and it can fit into 21 8 times and so we still end up with 7 over 8 the only reason it's really nice to cross cancel in the beginning is we end up using smaller numbers. Notice we have to use 21s and 24s here, whereas in this example we only used small numbers like 7s, 2s, 4s and 6s. Here's another one. So remember the arrows of multiplication. Pretend that they're trying to remind you that you can cross cancel. So for the 3 and the 15, well what number can go into both? 3. 3 goes into itself once and 3 goes into 15 five times what number can go into four and ten the number two it goes into four twice and it goes into five five times now before we even go to well let's first write down what we have you can also cancel vertically so what number can go into five and five well the number one I mean the number five goes in once and once now we can go across so one times one is one and two times one is two and there we are done. Let's say you didn't do any cancelling. Then you would have 3 over 4 times 10 over 15. If you went across, you would get 30. And if you went across, you would get 60. Now, the number 30 can go into itself once. And the number 30 can go into itself, I mean, it can go into 60 twice. So you don't have to cancel. But trust me, it is way better to cancel because later on we're going to deal with bigger numbers and it's going to become very complicated if you don't cancel first. So see if you can try that. So whenever you have a sum with fractions that has a mixed number, always convert it to an improper first. I know some teachers don't, but trust me, it just works really nicely. So what we'll do is we'll say 2 times 20, which is 40, plus the 9, so that's 49 over 20 multiplied by 3 times 7 which is 21 plus the 4 is 25 over 7 now always let these arrows remind you that you can cross cancel first so what number can go into 49 and 7 well the number 7 can go into itself once and it goes into 49 seven times for 25 and 20 the number 5 fits into 25 five times and 20 four times now we end up with 7 over 4 times 5 over 1 you should now cancel vertically if possible in this one you can't and so we can go across 7 times 5 is 35 4 times 1 is 4 and there's your answer and then you just want to write that as a mixed number and so 4 can fit into 35 8 times because 4 times 8 is 32 and then there's 3 left over so the answer is 8 and 3 quarters. 
dividing now guys there's a little trick when you are dividing two fractions then what you do is you keep the first one the same and you turn the sign into a multiply and then you turn this one upside down so it's 8 over 7 let me show you another example 3 over 4 divide by 9 over 16 you keep it as 3 over 4 and then you say times 16 over 9. That is very important. You will use that until the end of grade 12. And so now you can carry on as per normal. So 7 goes into itself once and once. 4 goes into itself once and 8 it goes in twice or two times. Then you'd multiply the top times the top which is well let me first write out what we have. 1 over 1 plus 2 over 1 and so that's going to be well, that's a times, Kevin. So that's going to be 2 over 1, and that is just 2. Here we are multiplying and dividing. So remember, step 1 is always convert into improper fractions. I don't know if I mentioned that in the previous lesson on, on adding and subtracting fractions, but it's always a good idea to change things to improper fractions. So we say 1 times 9, which is 9, plus 1, which is 10, and so this becomes 10 over 9. This one is 1 times 2, which is 2, plus 1, which is 3, over 2. Then we can keep it as a divide for now. We say 2 times 7, which is 14, plus 2, which is 16, over 7. We then need to change this divide sign. And so that will be 10 over 9 times 3 over 2. Then we change the divide into a times, and you flip this one over. You see I'm doing that rule that I just showed you with these two and so it becomes 7 over 16. Now you can cross cancel. So for example, and there's multiple ways of doing this, if we look at the 10 and the 16, the number 2 fits into 10 5 times and the number 2 fits into 16 8 times. If we look at the 9 and the 3, 3 fits into itself once, and 3 fits into 9 three times. I can't see any other simplifying opportunities, so now what we have is 5 over 3 times 1 over 2 times 7 over 8. Yep, there's nothing else I could cancel. And so you just multiply all the top numbers together, so 5 times 1 times 7 is 35. And then at the bottom you've got 3 times 2 which is 6, times by 8 which is 48 and that is your answer. Okay so here's the last question for this lesson so remember always change things into improper so it's 1 times 2 which is 2 plus 1 which is 3 over 2. This one already is an improper then we say 3 times 5 which is 15 plus 2 which is 17 over 5. Now we can carry on with the sum and so not much cancels here although 3 goes into itself once, and 3 goes into 9 three times, 2 goes into itself once, and 2 goes into 4 twice. Now there's nothing more that we can do, so we just multiply all the top numbers together, which gives us 34, and then we multiply all the bottom numbers together, which is 15. If the top number is bigger, then you, meet, you need to convert it back to a mixed number, and so 15 goes into 34 twice, and then there's 4 left over. And so there we have it guys, in this lesson we looked at multiplying and dividing with fractions. Please remember when multiplying and dividing you don't need a common denominator. That's only when you are plusing and minusing.